I did the one by one house challenge in blocks. I don't want to use more than two floors because I don't want it to look like this big giant stick. Okay, that's like a decent height. Oh my god, this tiny little roof. Why is this so cute? Guys, I have a story to tell you and it's hilarious. So you want to stay for this. So every day, right? I wake up for school and I normally wake up at like 6.30. And this one day, my alarm didn't go off for some reason. But it was like 6.40 and I woke up. And normally when I wake up at 6.30, I have no time to spare. I'm like going from thing to thing. So I woke up, I looked at the time. I'm like, oh no, it's 6.40. Like I gotta go. So I instantly wake up and I do like my morning thing, right? So I get all ready. And then by the time I'm ready, it's like 7.20ish. Normally when it's 7.20, like someone else in my family is awake, like either my brother or my mom. And this one day it was quiet. No one was awake. I'm like, okay. This is a little weird. By the way, this day was my mom's birthday. So I'm like, what's happening? Like, did we cancel school? Like, are we celebrating my mom's birthday? Like, what's happening? Because something's wrong. So I look at the time and oh my God, what do I find out? <laughs> this sounds so dumb. So it's not 7.20. It is a school day, by the way. It's not 7.20. It's not 6.20. It's 5.20. Oh my gosh. Which also means that I woke up that morning at 4.20 and just got all ready. So it's 5.20, I'm like, oh my God. Oh yeah, obviously the alarm hasn't woken me up. I still have two hours. So now it's 5.20 and I don't have to leave the house for like another two hours. So I'm like, okay, what am I meant to do? I have like makeup on and everything. Like I can't go back to sleep like this. So I have two options. I can either go and edit my video and just be productive for two hours or I can go back to sleep. So I just went back to sleep already, all changed with like makeup on and everything. Cause when I look at the clock and realize it was 6.40, I just look at the minutes. I didn't look at the hour for some reason. I don't know, I just woke up. And the reason I thought my alarm didn't go off is because like me missing my alarm is like a weekly thing. Like it happens once a week. And when I woke up at 6.40, like I didn't feel significantly more tired. Cause normally when I wake up, I'm like tired anyway. So like, it just feels the Anyways, same. yeah, that was like a funny story. This happened like a month ago-ish. And it was, I like, I told all my friends that they just laughed at me. I haven't built on camera for so long. The last time I actually built something on camera, was like with Kachanki. I did like my black and white video, but that's not really building. Like I built the whole thing off camera and I just colored it on camera. So that doesn't count. We have this like bigger dining area outside because inside is a beach. So I saw someone on Twitter using like brighter colors in Bloxburg and it looks really good. So I wanna try to use like brighter colors, but I don't know what color she used. Oh, resizing is gonna come in handy this video because everything is need to be tiny. Oh my God, a tiny little carpet. That's actually so cute. Okay, it's time for another story. So I have scoliosis, which basically means that my spine is not straight. I don't like really feel anything. I don't have back pain or anything. Like it just, I have it. Like it's a really minor curve. Like it doesn't really affect me, but I use this condition to my advantage too much. Oh my gosh, I said I was gonna use brighter colors and I just clicked gray. So in the start of the school, you have to request for a locker. And while requesting, you have to like basically basically say the reason for why you want a locker because like not everyone gets a locker. It's like our school doesn't have enough lockers for everyone. I, I, I said that if I put heavy items on my shoulder, it could cause severe health problems and possibly surgery, <laughs> which is true, but like not at my age because I'm 15, like I'm pretty much done growing. So there's like a 0.01 chance of me needing surgery. But like I made it so much more serious because I like lockers. Like I put everything in my locker. Also, how am I supposed to do a floor? Am I supposed to do like a half floor type thing? Does this fit? A little bit. But yeah, after sending the email, I got a locker. So it worked. Okay, so we need energy, fun, hunger, and hygiene. Right? Do we think that this is gonna interfere with us going up the ladder? I hope not, because that's what we're gonna do. Okay, and then let's put the ottoman here so we don't have to snap our neck to watch TV. Oh my God, guys, I'm so stupid. I forgot wall turns and pillars. How could I possibly forget? I'm too busy telling my stories. I don't remember the order of me building houses. Like I, I forgot to color the extra. And then this other time I used scoliosis to my advantage is also for school. So as you may or may not know, teachers do this thing. It's called assigned seating. I know it's so- So annoying. this one day we had new seating and I got assigned to the seating where the teacher can see your screen. And if you're anything like me, the teacher cannot see your screen. Oh, this is like a nice tiny little window. So I sat there, I'm like, I cannot stay here for the next two months. Like how can I get out of the seat ASA? And when I say the teacher can't see my screen, I, I don't mean like I'm playing games or whatever. I'm like trying to do other homework. Like I hate having my time wasted. Like I just need to do other homework. And like these stupid kids ask like stupid questions for 15 minutes. Like I cannot just sit there for 15 like, minutes. Like I could get a piece of homework done. Like I need to, I have things that I need to get done. Anyways, so throughout the class period, I thought about how to get out of the seat. And this seat that I'm sitting at, the screen is facing my teacher, which also means that my back is facing the teacher. So every single time that I have to look at the teacher and look at the board, I have to like turn my neck 180 degrees. So I'm like, I have scoliosis, I have to turn my neck. Oh my God, I'm a genius. Still haven't colored the exterior. What is wrong with me? I'm too busy telling my story. So at the end of the period, I go to the teacher, I'm like, hey, Miss Teacher. So I have this thing, it's called scoliosis, and it's really, 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 extremely bad for my neck. 
to turn 180 degrees one way to look at you every single time. So the teacher looks at me and they're like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, sweetie. Like, I had no idea. Like, oh, you must sit wherever you want. Like, wherever makes you comfortable. Safety first. I'm like, okay, sweet. And so then I chose a spot where it's like safe to do other homework. Okay, so down here we have fun with the TV and comfort with the ottoman. It's not really comfortable, but it works. How comfortable is this house gonna get anyways? Doesn't really matter. This house even has an exit wall. Oh my gosh, I'm so fancy. I can't, I can't see anything. Oh my gosh. Okay, the first floor is done. There's like five items down here. Okay, upstairs. Okay, so we need to fit a fridge in here and then some kind of like hygiene, like a sink or something. Oh wait, why put a decal when you have to put a window? Like everyone needs windows. A window to see your nice little tiny backyard. A small house comes to small backyard. Oh my gosh, it fits. Wait, it's perfect. Oh, it's like glitching. Okay, let's move it out a little. Okay, it's not perfect. It's sticking out a little. It might fall, but we're good. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Guys, another story. Do I do acting and I was recently in this show called Elf the Musical for Christmas. Okay, do we think we can fit this cabinet? <laughs> Okay, I don't think you can fit this cabinet. So basically, when I was doing the show, people like to change the lines a lot for some reason. And when a line is unexpected, I start laughing. Cause I laugh so easily, like especially on stage, it's it's bad. Okay, so there's this one scene, it's supposed to be like a series, and people just start changing the lines. And I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna laugh. And people said so many wrong lines that at this point I'm like internally laughing. And externally I'm like smiling or like grinning. And then someone else switches the lines again. And now, I start full on smiling. And remember, it's a serious scene, so I cannot smile, right? So then I turn my back so that I can smile facing the back so people won't see me smiling. And then someone else that's on stage with me, they see me laughing and they're facing the audience, so they cannot laugh. But I look at them and then they see me smiling and then they smile a little bit as well while facing the audience. But then after a while, a song starts and then I like chill myself down. But like, I almost audibly laugh. I didn't, but I almost did. I don't think I'm very good at telling stories and building at the same time because I've done nothing. I think there's too much white on the exterior. Does that look, okay, now that looks like there's too much gray. Does that look bad? I feel like that still looks bad. Or maybe because the house is like so tiny so that everything's like kind of squished together. You guys know about the Transform Plus Game Pass? Should I get it? I don't know if I want to get it. Like, I like building, so I feel like it would be helpful, but at the same time, it's 600 Robux. Actually, well, to be fair, 600 Robux for what it does is not terrible. It's just 600 Robux as its own is like kind of a lot. I don't know how I'm supposed to do a cinematic tour of this because it is so tiny. This is the one by one house. This is the exterior. The exterior does not need to be within the one by one. And if we go inside, it's gonna be really, really cramped. Okay. Okay, we can sit here and then we can watch t Oh wait, why is this so high up? Hold up. It's not even that high up. Why Why does it look so high up? Oh, okay. My head is sticking out the door, but we can watch the TV. That's good. Okay, let's see if we can go up. Oh, oh my god. We went up so smoothly. That was actually surprisingly smooth. Okay. Can we stand up here? Ooh. So up here we have our fridge, which can help with our hunger. And then we can wash our hands, which can help with our hygiene. And then down back down if i can go down oh i can go down okay. i can watch tv for fun and then sit for comfort so we have everything you need oh my god an ottoman is three plus that's like a steal. i think i'm the first person on youtube to get everything you need in a house in just two floors if you're a youtuber try to be my record and do a one by one house challenge with one floor so like a one by one by one house if you enjoyed click here to subscribe then click here for more build challenges hope to see you there